What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today I'm back on the water on the kayak, going for salmon again. And, man, I just need one more salmon in the season. I need one more, just one more, at least. So, uh, yeah, we're back out here, going for them again in Half Moon Bay. But the salmon has been so slow lately. Like, there's been barely any catches. Barely any. So, my confidence isn't too high right now, but uh, hope we can get it done. Hope so. And if I can get that salmon, I have a really awesome special episode for you guys. I'm doing a collab with an artist in this episode. So, he's a Gyotaku artist. And yeah, you'll see more about that later on, but it's gonna be freaking awesome. And I'm gonna try to make some merch with that, so. Stay tuned, and let's get a salmon. Let me show you what it looks like when you see a bait ball. See right now, there's nothing on the fish finder, not much really. But whenever I, when I go over this bait ball, there's a bait ball right there. I'm gonna go over that right now, and watch the fish finder. See the fish finder now? All that bait you can see. It looks like there might be a couple fish on there too. So that's what it looks like on the fish finder. I don't know, there could be some fish right here. So I'm gonna keep working this bait ball. I got my eye on it. I'm just gonna circle it for a little bit. I'm down about 28 feet right now. Maybe a little bit less. Grab it, come on, that looks like a fish right there. Come on, get bit, I'm right over it. Get bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, what the heck? I had a freaking jack smell on the whole time. Damn. Working that bait ball for nothing. So what I have right here, this is a downrigger. So I just attach my line to it. I have no weight on my line. So I just attach this to it, just clip it on. And there's a four pound weight right here. And then I just, I can send it down. One crank is about one foot. So how, how many ever feet I want to send it down. Um, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm gonna send it down 25. By the way guys, apologies if the audio isn't so great uh, on this video, at least for this fishing part. I don't have my mic on the GoPro today, and uh, if it starts getting windy, you might hear a bit of that, so sorry about that. Fish on, fish on. Nick's on. Land that fish, Nick! Yeah! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's big. Good job, Nick. How big is it? 38 inches, maybe 40. What? What, dude? Damn. <laughs> okay, I've got it's only 35. 35, still big. I'm gonna switch it up to the watermelon apex. By this point I switched to a diver which looks like this and this is an alternative to using a downrigger. Take a look at the rod here and bam you can see that diver get triggered there but nothing was on there. So I checked my bait, 
I brought it up and sure enough there was a bite on it so it there was a fish not sure what it was but I rebaited it and I went back around to that same exact spot where it got triggered and check, check this out There it is, fish on! And the technique on a kayak while you're trolling is to pedal as fast as you can. Because remember, in California, we're only allowed to use barbless hooks while we're fishing for salmon. This is what makes kayak fishing for salmon extra difficult because we're only allowed the barbless hooks. If you bring the salmon in right away, it's gonna jump in the air, it's gonna shake its head, hook's gonna come out of the mouth, and you're gonna lose the fish. So what I'm doing here, by pedaling hard is keeping the tension on the fish at all times and I'm tiring it out as far away from the boat as possible and when it's tired enough I'm gonna try to bring it in and net them. Come on, don't come off. Oh, almost done. Oh, come on, it's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh, he's good. He went. Dude, he's going down. Yeah, the most nerve-wracking part. He's on there. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Oh. oh my God. My ass is so sore. My legs are shaking, dude. Oh my god. All right, I'm at the diver. Here we go, baby. Can we do it in one shot? Yeah. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes, man. Here it is. Shh. Ooh, he's going down. He's not done. It's okay. You can walk him for a couple more minutes. Yeah. All right. Got him! Got him! That was too easy. Woo! Yes! Oh, that's a nice one. That's your people, bro. Yes! Woo! That's what's up. That's how we do it, Nick. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. No, you FBR, FBR, 25 feet down. I'm so happy I was here, man. I know. Freaking, dude, you played that like a pro, man. <laughs> Serious. Just gotta stay calm. Yeah, you were, you were staying calm. You walked him. 
You didn't pull the net out too early? Yeah. And then that net job was freaking <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Man. Yeah. 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 Let's see him. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Look, hold on. Show us from the top view. Look how fat that thing is. Yeah. From the. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. At yeah. least like four inches across. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Beat my first year. Wow, that's fat. That's nice. It's healthy. Yeah, it's a good, healthy one. When you cut that open, it's going to be. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Oh, that was a clean net job. That was clean. That was probably the best net job I've ever done so far. First swipe, boom, got him in. Yes. So this is what I caught it on. This is the diver. I got it from my neighbor, Colin, and he said he swears by this, so. So what it does is it goes down like this. When the fish bites, it goes back and it straightens out and you can reel it in. And I had the leader with the, uh, I was using the FBR, one of these guys. It helps the bait spin in the water. Looks like an injured bait. And that's what I got it on. Barbless hooks also, as always, when you're salmon fishing in California, this new setup that got put to good use right here. Daiwa Alexa 400 and then I have this new rod this is a Shimano Talora it's upside down but Shimano Talora so I'm just gonna troll back to that exact spot where I just caught him and uh, see if we can just pick up another one real quick and I'm gonna just get some nice drone shots to end this fishing video and uh, we'll go back and we'll get to that fish printing yes yeah bro Hey guys, now we're back with my friend Dwight here. He just drove up from Southern California and he's an artist and um, he does an art called Gyotaku. And uh, what, can you tell him what, what that is exactly? Yeah, so Gyotaku is basically the printing of a fish with ink. It started in Japan in the 1800s. Um, there's, there's two origin stories that I've heard yeah. when I was in Japan when I first saw it. Yeah. Um, one is, it's like the, the highborn story where there was a court, um, like a samurai lord. His mm -hmm. name was Sakai. And uh, he would go out and fish. He would catch like Kushin Carp, Heraguna. Uh -huh. Kushin Carp, Mirror Carp, things like that. And he would bring them to his court calligrapher and ask him to document it. Okay, and yeah. So most yeah. of the time, you know, they, they would use calligraphy and just write, yeah. write down all the details that fishermen geek out on. Yeah. You know, the weight, size, how they caught it, all that stuff. Right. But then. I don't know how, but like there's a, a, a clever calligrapher, instead of just writing it down, they took yeah. the same ink, the sumi ink, and they brushed it onto the fish itself, pressed the paper on top of that, yeah. and they got a print. Yeah. And that's that's one of the stories. The other story is, I've heard is where, uh, when the capital was being changed from Kyoto to Tokyo, uh -huh. or Edo. Edo to Tokyo, yeah. And and um, like all the craftsmen and, and uh, the workers were converging yeah and a lot of them couldn't read they're illiterate and so the, like the fishmongers they would instead of writing it down oh right on the wall yeah. where no one could read it like at would, the fish market yeah yeah they would, they would print the fish of that day oh. and put it up and they would see from across the street oh yeah. it's shimasaba yeah today. yeah oh nice that's cool and it's like such a cool becomes such a cool art form and it was just like a way of back in the day like taking a picture right yeah it's like instead instead of pictures because they didn't have that just printed it and you have a picture of the fish exactly identical print of the fish yeah and that's what he does yeah you guys got to check him out he's on instagram uh, any other way they can check you out uh website um yeah. but 
Instagram is best if you look for yeah. fishing for Gil Taku. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's, I'll put his info in the description below. Amazing, amazing Instagram page. Yeah, you guys check it out. And we're gonna do that with my salmon that I caught uh, last week. So uh, what I did was while I was waiting for him, I put it in the freezer uh, hole. So I just took the guts out, took the gills out and wrapped it with parchment paper, wrapped it with uh, saran wrap and then froze it. Just uh, try to freeze it as you know perfectly as possible. And so I can preserve it. And here we have the salmon, 31 inch king salmon. Uh, this is actually a hatchery salmon. As you can see, it's missing the adipose fin here. And uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a really cool print. I, ho I hope you have wall space for this. Oh yeah, Good. definitely have wall space. It's gonna go right where like a TV would go. Right so I don't have a TV. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna be, boom, right there, the salmon. Filled up all the cavities with, with okay. paper towels. Yeah. Just so that, you know, um, since you've already gutted it, mm -hmm. I, need, I still need to keep its form somehow. Right. So I did that, I wiped off, removed most of its slime. Right, okay. What I'm doing now is I need to fill up some of these orifices, like nostril especially, so it doesn't leak. And frankly, there's a lot of trial and error involved with this. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've uh, worked with Sumi uh, much, but it's very runny. Okay. And so fish printers these days will will use modern inks, some stuff that's a lot tackier in consistency. Okay. And so it, it really adheres to the fish. Yeah. But it's a Sumi ink, black and white versions that I saw in, J in Japan yeah. that I fell in love with. So that's mm. what I just kept with. That's what you used to take with that original kind of art form. Yeah, I mean, that's what way. I fell in love with. Yeah. So you hold this. Okay. So I'm just going to use that for a test. Okay. So I don't normally just go straight into printing. Uh huh. What I'll do is do a surface test, an ink test, make sure I've mixed everything right, make sure uh, things are transferring okay. properly. So what I'm doing right now is simply applying the ink and now I'm blending, removing ink, um, making it a little smoother. Okay. Keep it nice and tight. Okay. So, hand right there. Okay. That's a simple test. And then we'll get the real paper out. <laughs> That's already cool. <laughs> oh, well there you That's go. All, yeah, I'm done, <laughs> we're done here. <laughs> Just on a paper towel.
Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, yeah. Much better. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Can you see that on the camera? Wow. Check that out, guys. That right there is Gale Kaku. That's yes. right. Oh, this is so awesome. And and you said you're going to do the, the top fin? Yeah, I'm going to do that right now, actually. Okay. That's it. That's, that's, the pressure's off. The <laughs> oh, pressure's off. Yeah. Wind, waves, yes. hornets, or wasps. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I put you through the test. <laughs> you did, I passed it. Yeah. So happy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there it is, guys. Whoa. Dude, this is so cool. We're putting it together. Yeah. This is amazing. Wow. This this is like something I'm going to have forever for the rest of my life. <laughs> so this is freaking awesome. So I'll take this home. Yeah. And I'll finish it up painting the eye. Yeah. And then I'll flatten the paper and you won't even know that we printed this outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice and flat. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for coming up here, oh, printing you. this. Oh my gosh, fun. yeah, that's awesome. Well, your part is done. Now it's my turn. We're gonna turn this salmon into some sushi so I can feed him, all right? Yeah, yeah. right on. Now you get, to, you get to relax, now it's my turn. <laughs> Going in the ink, um, it's still like... Oh, so it just, it just washes off, mm -hmm. scale it, what you know scrub it off mm -hmm. it's made of um pine soot oh, so okay. you know it, there's no yeah it's like a natural it's a natural thing yeah yeah nice so you can still eat it you can really definitely fine. still eat it and since this fish was already frozen we can eat it for sushi right away nice generous portion of the collar off here because we're gonna grill this I have the grill going already right there look at how orange this meat is it's almost red such beautiful meat out of all the salmon I caught this is the most um, closest to red I'm just gonna take the belly off here. I'm gonna take this tail portion off. Salt this, uh, salt that salmon collar generously. All right, we're gonna grill that salmon collar and we'll prep everything else now. Squeeze a little lemon juice on there.
I'm gonna put this away for now in the cooler. Woo, check that. Wow, beautiful. That looks nice. All right, I got some sushi rice here. All right, just need a little bit of plastic, just like this. And you put a little piece of fish down. I'm gonna use this piece. A little golf ball, maybe a little smaller than a golf ball size uh, piece of rice. And you're just gonna wrap it. And you twist. Bye. Now, look at this, you have a little sushi ball. Huh. It's like nigiri, same thing like nigiri, but it's just a ball. Very easy to do. All the kids can do them. Anybody can do them. Uh, this is gonna be hosomaki. So that's the skinny roll with the seaweed on the outside. And I'm gonna put some umeboshi in there. This is umeboshi, pickled sour plum. Pickled plums. Salmon in there. There you go. And we'll just roll it up. So in order to roll these hosomaki, it's pretty easy. So you don't need any plastic on this. Just bring it to the edge and with the same, with together with the bamboo mat and the seaweed, make sure it gets to that side. So it's like this, right? So all I need to do is roll it one more time and tighten it a couple times. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then that's it and just roll it out. Boom. And it should be attached right there. All right, now I'm gonna try to make something, something different that I haven't made before. I'm gonna put a little bit of cucumber in each. And I'm gonna roll them. These are just cucumbers that I just sliced on the mandolin. And I'm gonna roll them up as well. Miso mustard. So I'm just gonna put these on the bottom. And I also have ikura. This is also from the same salmon. And I'm gonna just uh, try to put these Put the ikura in here. There we go. And if it spills off to the side, it's completely fine. This is finger lime. Oh, look at that. Like little caviars. The lime caviar. They're so beautiful.
Very different style plating. Very pretty. Just kind of had a visual for it. So, yeah, I think that's it for that dish. Take a photo of this! No way! Oh my god, I wasn't recording for that. Take a photo. He just grabbed a wasp with his chopsticks. Mr. Miyagi! I did the Miyagi dip! <laughs> no way! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, sorry for making you guys wait so long. All right, guys, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, grilled salmon collar with a little bit of salad with apples. Uh, got the sashimi with sesame oil. Oh, a little bit of, that one needs a little bit of sea salt. I can't wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> this one needs a little bit of sea salt here. Oh my God. So good. All right. Ooh. And then just a variety, uh, Ikura. Ikura is from the same salmon too. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so good with the ume wushu. Mm. You mm -hmm. like it? I like it. Man, you like you, it? You are legit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Try the ume boshi. Mm. Justin loves ume boshi too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, dude, I am so impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Not only can you make it Tastes this good, but have it look so good out here. Yeah. When everything's against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so good. The ikura has like um, I put some, some kaffir uh, lime zest. Yeah. Yeah. So it has a little bit of nice like little bitterness slightly, so but it's like good. a pleasant bitterness. Oh, I have beer. Would you like a beer? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. You know, I have IPA or Japanese lager. What would you like? There you go. Good. Shout out to food. Kenji, sent me this from, this is from Harlan Brewing, that's where he works. So send me some beers. Wow. Thank you, Kenji. Thank you, Kenji. Oh, Cheers. Thank you wow. Cheers. I love everything here. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. 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 Come by. Weston. Weston, come by. There you go. Was this from someone else? Uh, yeah. Wow. This one is from Corks and Cakes. This is really good. That's good? It's really good. Ooh. It's like a cherry pie. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so cool. And you caught this. I caught it, yeah. I caught it. Yeah. Take, take a big chunk. Take it. Can yeah. Just put it on that plate. Oh, the skin's going to be good, too. You want to take some of the skin. Show us. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want skin? Okay. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this umeboshi roll. All right, go for it. The collar. Wow. wow. So oily. Oh no, no. Oh, dropped it. Damn it. <laughs> collar is so oily and tasty. Mm. <laughs> Perfectly seasoned. Delicious. A little bomb bomb. Can't tell if that's focused, but with a little uh, finger lime on there on top. Very, very tasty. Mm. Mm. I have fresh wasabi again from Half Moon Bay. Shout out to Half Moon Bay wasabi. Look at my little tiny, <laughs> a little thing. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Oh, try that. Try this fresh wasabi. It's 
it's really good. You can put a lot too, because it's a fresh wasabi. Okay. Yeah, it oh. doesn't, it's not too spicy. <laughs> What are you oh, gonna do with like the perch? It's so different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do with the perch? You can eat it. You wanna eat it? Yeah. I'm gonna eat the perch. Eat yeah. the perch. Yeah. Weston, is it good? Yeah. Good? He's such a picky eater. Oh, yeah? He's huge. I've never eaten him. I've never seen him eat this much sushi in sashimi. Oh. Really? <laughs> which one was your favorite? Yeah, which one's your favorite? My favorite one was this guy. That guy? Oh my gosh. Mmm. Go ahead, go ahead. This is the one that you said had the kafir zest? No, the ikura. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's why it has like a faint. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Yeah. Mommy says it's so yummy that she's mad. Yeah, mad at me. Okay, there's a, to give you some context. Uh -huh. You know how like, when you pe watch people eat and they eat something good, yeah. reasonably good, they're like, mm, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. and, and they nod their heads, right? Yeah. But when they eat something really good, they shake their heads for some reason, like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but the Koreans take it like an extra step for, further. <laughs> and they say, oh, <laughs> which means, oh, this pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this, it's too good, piss me off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. I'm so sorry I already finished. <laughs> <laughs> you can order it from Corks and Kegs, 484. That's so cool. You get sent beer and <laughs> yeah, and yeah. this and that. Yeah. We get sent ink. So <laughs> 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 we can't eat it. Yeah, we can't eat it. <laughs> so they want me to like print it and then you to do something oh. with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then, like, Rex was talking about, yeah, I should mm -hmm. just take you guys out fishing. Fishing, yeah. And do this and that, it'll be fun. Oh my yeah. God. Make a good team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if you guys want us to uh, print your fish and make good food, got a duo <laughs> right here. So, oh yeah, we'll get it done. You just slide it in. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hold on. I gotta <laughs> concentrate. <laughs> gotta concentrate. <laughs> so, Dwight is going up to Oregon and you know having some fun up there. Make sure to follow him in his journey. All the Giltaku, all that beautiful art. Check out check him out on Instagram, fishing for Giltaku. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Dwight. Thank you. Today was amazing. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do that again. <laughs> what, 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 what are we doing? We're, doing? <laughs> okay, we should just do it like this. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, tide's coming up, so we gotta get out of here soon. All right, thank you, Dwight. Thank you for it. I'm so afraid to do this now. I'm going to screw this up. You got better. There we go, there we go. We'll just, uh, all right, that's it. Weston, you want to say bye? Say bye. Come here. Bye. bye. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>